All right, so welcome back. Um, not feeling too well today. Um, went to the gym with my wife, and yeah, I was feeling like garbage. <laughs> uh, I've been battling. I think it's like a uh, what is it? Um, like a sinus infection. So I've been like mucusy, and so I'm really nasally today. So if I sound weird, I apologize, but. <clears throat> I definitely wanted to get in a stream today um, just to kind of brainstorm on some new ideas I was talking about in my previous stream. Um, and I was like thinking about those at the gym too today um, while I was like trying to not die, I guess. Um, so yeah, we're going to do the star in the sky mission or we're going to try to knock some of it out here. Uh, there was a couple viewers that wanted to see it. I know Quentin wanted to see it. So we're going to do that as well. So um yeah but and i'll talk a little bit about the uh the new mini series I'm, I'm thinking about doing that's not hopefully it doesn't take as much time as my truck reviews because those take so long to do so i'm trying to do something that's a little bit more informal as, as opposed to formal um stuff like that so trying to brainstorm to see like how i can help people and stuff like that what's up quentin how you doing good afternoon happy saturday so yeah we're gonna Hopefully we can brainstorm and figure it out how to how to get this next little mini series started. But anyways, let's uh let me let's jump into this stuff. Daniel, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. I'm gonna take a sip of this coffee here. I sound nasally, guys, so I apologize. I'm still battling this uh sinus infection, so. We're going to try to knock out the Star in the Sky mission. Um, <clears throat> I haven't started... I started doing the log contracts, and I'll probably, like, portal right... Yeah. So, <laughs> this is what I did. I loaded up all the logs um, from this little place. I think it was, like, right here-ish. And I thought there were... Wait. Okay, yeah, it was right here. And I thought there were going to be nine logs, but there were only six. And I didn't notice that until I got there. I can't finish that contract here. So what I'm going to have to do is go back to Lake Cove, um, load up a set of logs, and then I'm going to try to load up some long logs as well to do the next contract. Because so I think... Just do this before I start this star in the sky. Yeah. I got to do this one too. I don't know where the warehouse is at. Let me check where the warehouse is at real quick. You have yet to do any logging in cola? Yeah, um, this one's not fun. Oh my goodness, that's gonna suck. Actually, that's not gonna be too bad. I can come right through here and come up. Yeah, it's not gonna be too bad. All right, so here we go, star in the sky. And I can do those logging missions on my own some other time. So there's the wide flatbed. Wants me to drive there, but I, right now, I need to get in a vehicle that has a metal detector I'm trying to think what I can use here I put a I was thinking about putting a crane on this guy but I don't know I, I think I might it's a pretty good crane platform okay so I need a crane I'm gonna need a metal detector uh, I don't know if I should bring two big flatbeds or just use one and just shuttle him. But I'm going to try to make a little run here. Alright, let's see what we're going to put our metal detector on. Not you, not you. Can I put the metal detector on this guy? I don't think it can. Nope. Darn. It'd be a good one to use, actually. To be honest, I used the I used the Dan last time as a metal as a crane truck, so. Just trying to think here. Something I don't use that much, but I need something that. You know, we'll use the BM-17, why not? Shoot. 
Why not? All right, so let's see if we can get the metal detector and a low... Oh, shoot, I can't use a low-saddle metal detector. That poses an issue. All right, back to the drawing board. <laughs> All right, I know what to do, actually, because there's the truck. Actually, hold up. Where is... Wait, where's my truck at? Paystar? You mean like the big Paystar? That's actually what I want to use. Where did I put him? There he is. Oh, okay, that's why. Okay, I can actually recover him. So what I think I'm going to do is see if I can put this. Oh, no, I can't use it. No. The 5070. Oh, I can do that? Let me see. 5070. Oh, it can. Quentin, you're the man. Thank you. That's good thinking right there, bro. I like the green. I'm keeping the green. That's how it's going to be. Alright, so I think this is, should be okay. Now, what we're going to do is... <clears throat> we're going to go load up these uh, plane parts. Let's do this. So, I was going to hold off and not stream today and work on my video... Um, I actually finished my next week's video, and I, I kind of, like, changed a little th some little things up that I think look better. Um, and then I was playing around thinking how I'm going to start this new mini-series uh, called Route Runner, which I'm going to kind of, like, break down... I wouldn't, see, I wouldn't say, like, really break down maps, but kind of, like, give maybe, like, overviews on, like, what routes are tough, what are easy, and I'm going to kind of, like, color code them as well. But the only thing is... I was like brainstorming about it today at the gym, and I, I'm i trying to think how I can record it on my OBS, but the thing is, my OBS won't let me display my screen. Like I've tried everything to get it to like, and there, there's been streams where I wanted to like show people stuff, and I had to like MacGyver it somehow, and if I could just display my screen on my OBS. For some reason, it just doesn't want to do it. I don't know if it's like conflicting with the graphics card or, or something, but it just doesn't want to let me do it. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use the game. It's going to be like really informal. I'm just going to have the game um, window up, kind of like how I'm doing now. And I'm going to like draw points. And then what I'm going to do is I have a Photoshop where I can draw, like draw out the, the color-coded difficulty routes, and then I can just like have that up on the video at like the wrap-up spot. Like when I say like, okay, here's the conclusion of this map, like the color codes. Uh, what am I doing? I can just drive over this ice. <laughs> I'm forgetting what truck I drive right now. This thing does not care about anything. So yeah, that's kind of what we're going to do, I, I think. And I kind of like tested it a little bit because I was debating on whether I was in the stream today or just work on that video. Because I think I can like basically finish it today, maybe post it by Monday. But yeah. But I did like a little trial where I like kind of drew lines of like routes with like color coding on... Uh, on Adobe Photoshop, and it worked pretty pretty well, so I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I'm going to take a little drink again. Hold on a second. But yeah. Hopefully I can make it work and it be beneficial for people as well. No! This happened the same. This literally did the same thing. Come on, baby, just roll over. Yep, there you go. Good stuff.
So, uh, after I logged off the last stream, I was working on things and I literally had the same setup, right? And there's two tasks that deal with the, uh, the cargo containers. So I used both of these trucks and I did the same thing, but, you know, they both were basically carrying cargo containers. And that same spot, the paystar flipped over. Oh, don't blow a tire here. Oh wow, he didn't. Maybe they fixed those areas. I feel like every time I run over those poles, it always blows my tire. But yeah, that's the mini series I'm thinking about doing is the Route Runner. And then um, I'm going to do another series um, that's going to be not like a series. It's just, just going to be like kind of like me talking about some things. And I know my first topic is going to be about scouts. There, there are some things I want, I want to like talk about. So, and then I'm also <laughs> this is kind of crazy. I'm also planning like a uh, I don't want to say it's like an advanced tips, but like I would say like some type of like tips video. But I don't want to call it that. So I'm trying to think what I can call it. I feel like everybody does tips videos. But I have some really good points that I think would help. So we'll see. Oh shoot, let's see here. I'm trying to think. How did I go last time? Oh yeah, that's right. I went this way. I'm trying to like think about what way I went last time. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually gonna turn his engine off. And I'm just gonna continue here until I get down onto the ice. And then I'll just jump back in the pace star and then bring him down separate. I gotta say, this is like one of the, this feels like a really good crane truck. I don't know if like, they did something special with the, uh, with the crane speed, cause like, check it out. It moves fast, like, I've never, I don't know, maybe I haven't used the Russian cranes in a while, but I feel like this thing just moves so fast. I don't know, could just be me. I'm just gonna go across the ice, I guess. The last stream, um, dang, I think I had some of the. I rolled over. I, I don't know. I was I was everywhere last stream, so hopefully it's not gonna be the same, and I can actually get some stuff done this time, and not have the hiccups. But if you like that sort of thing, you definitely tuned into the right spot, because... Come on, baby, just get up on there. Ugh. Let's go get the pay star now. And pay star. <clears throat> so Quentin, how did you uh how did you know that this thing could use the uh, metal detector and the low saddle? That is like super clutch. Oh, nice. Well, I'm glad you suggested it, because I love this truck. This is like... Tegan Griswold, what's up? How you doing? I'm doing well, man. Welcome to the channel. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm a little bit sick. I'm battling a, uh, a sinus infection right now, and I'm just uh, 
in here, trying to do this stars in the sky mission, spitballing about some of my little mini series I'm trying to think about as well. So, so how are you on this Saturday? So another reason I actually stream today is I live in northern Air kind of like mid Arizona, but like up in the mountains and we got some crazy thunderstorms, okay? And today we're about to get them here in like two hours and my power went out. So I'm trying to like get a stream in before that happens, you know? You're a little sick too. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Well, hopefully we get better soon. I normally never get sick. That's a crazy thing. I think it was, the bad thing was I should not have went to the gym today because I feel like I should have just rested, but whatever, hindsight's 2020. Kind of like I'm, I'm trying to like think back to when I did this. It was so long ago. I'm almost thinking I had like I think I had the twin steer up here for the the plane wings. I think there's like three parts. I think there's like two parts of wings, and then there's like the big fuselage that you have to carry. You gotta stay on the ice here or on the oh gosh. This is the sucky part about not having chain tires. You get over to the snow. Come on, Paystar, give me a give me a little push, bud. Just give me a little push. There we go. I think another thing I was thinking about with the whole route runner thing is like. I don't know, is it like, is it too late in the game to even like post something like that? Like, I don't even know who would want to watch that. Like something about, you know. I mean, I know there are a lot of new players coming into the game because like on the Facebook groups, I see so many people like chiming in saying like, hey, I just downloaded the game for the first time, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's weird. I feel like. SnowRunner is bringing in a lot of new players, but like, I don't know. With like mod, with like the overpowered mods and stuff like that, like, kind of wonder. Can I go through here? I think I can, but I'm just gonna go around, make a right, just go through it. Why not? Do the map review? Okay. Yeah, did my game just crash. Oh, we did. We crashed. Okay, yeah, game crash, guys. Sorry. It actually hasn't done this in a while. But I get this, like, crash dump error, like, every time I fire up um, SnowRunner. So it's kind of, it's so weird. But if I don't hit the close button, it'll, um, it'll let me run the game. So it's weird. All right, firing back up the game. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, Lucian, I don't, I don't know. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Glad you stopped in. Yeah, I'm not sure why it does that. Like, I don't know. That's like the first time that's ever like happened, and it's been like that for like the past month. So I don't know. Just weird. Super weird. All right, let's see here. Get rid of some stuff. Okay, let's do this. Ah, uh, there's the crash dump thing. Look off of that. Good to go. All right. Okay, sweet. Okay, so 
I gotta think about my routing when I bring these parts down because last time... Actually, it wasn't too bad. It really wasn't too bad. Then make a left, or I could, could go straight, but no, I'll just go this way. I'm not really concerned about this little swamp over here. Zix makes short work of it all, anyways. So I actually thought about pulling this um these parts out with the with the Zix, but honestly, when I pulled the rocket with the Zix, like I handed the rocket off from the Tatra to the Zix, like. The Zix just crushed it. And I think it was because the Zix sits so much higher that the five slot trailer like really never drug that much on the ground. Dang, but one thing I noticed about this map is it has so many scout trailers. Like, I, I don't know how many I picked up, but I picked up a ton. I'm like super anal about turning them in, and I was like, I feel like I was running around the map for like at least like two hours just grabbing uh, trailers to, to sell. Which, if you don't, by the way, you should. It's free money, and yeah, can't complain about it. Just takes a little bit of time. Okay, so I need to get that trailer up here to like start the new part of the mission. So we'll do that next after I get this down here. Okay, Daniel, I appreciate that. 22 maps? Dang. Dang, that's a lot. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to review... I'm going to review, like, all the Michigan maps at once. I'm going to do them. I'm going to go through each one. And then I'm going to, like, that'll be one segment. And then I'll just move on to the next segment, which will be a, a totally different... Like, it'll be Alaska on my next segment. So hopefully that, that'll work. But 22 maps, dang, that's, that's a lot. I didn't think we had that many. All right, here we go. Yeah, see how like it kind of sits low, kind of like slants a little bit. I'm gonna get up here. I know I go down this way. Yeah, this is the way I took last time to pull this sleigh through here and it kind of sucks. Maybe this time what I'll do is I'll come down to the beach and then just pull it over through. But I don't know. We'll see. I'm just going to do it. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, yikes. I just drive into some... It's like weird. I feel like I never used to get stuck here. I remember it just used to be super slow. It just feels odd. Maybe you just have to get past that initial super snow right there. It's kind of like blue back there. I don't know. I don't know. I have speculation about this vehicle that it's kind of like the Dan. 
Like, I feel like it performs like the Dan. Like, especially in low gears. Like, I don't know. I feel like it's the same weight. I, I don't know. I just have this hunch. Uh, I mean, I'll dive into it more whenever I review it soon. Let's keep going straight. I need to find this. It's way through. I forget where it was at. I know it's over here to the right, I think. Let's hold up. I'm gonna look real quick on the map. Probably comes straight through. It just this is a weird spot because like I don't know. You gotta like kind of finesse your way through these trees. If you don't, I knew it. <laughs> oh what? That'll work. That will work. Yeah, you just kind of like finish your way through these trees, and that's kind of like the weird part, but I'm just trying to think. I know I usually go through over here on the right hand side. I think I'm on like better snow here. I think that's the line right there. I'm like thinking to probably go right through this village, right through this gap right here. So what I'll do is, is do this. Swing my front end through. Miss that tree. Good. Grab this tree right here. The back end. Hope that works. Come on, there we go. And we're off. I see. I see what's going on. Kind of like getting snagged, so we'll just like try to muscle through. Come on, man. That's where it's getting stuck there. Actually, I know what to do. I'll go through these trees right here to the, my left, actually. That's where I messed up. I thought I could like push it through there, but there's a clear line literally right, right here. There's probably a better. Let's see if this works. Hopefully I can get through. It doesn't look that good though. Oh man, I don't know. I mean, we'll see. Doesn't look good though. <clears throat> nope. Oh my gosh. This see, this is the tricky stuff right here. So I know what to do. Let's go like this. Probably gotta bust this tree down. Yep, knew it. Okay, go back, pull this end this way, now let's go back. I, 
think I need to remember the last time I did this. Because right now... Yeah, a little bit stuck, but I should be, I think I should be good. Should be good now, now I got the trailer over. So now I think, because the trailer's a little bit positioned better this time, we might be able to get into this gap. I know what I did last time, okay. So I'm actually not, like, I had a brain fart here. So last time what I did was I pulled this trailer down through here onto the beach because there's like no, it comes down here and then I just pulled it along this way and then up through here and that's what I'll do when I come back down. That's why I'm stuck here because I kind of like forgot my last route. So I mean it's been, oh gosh, it's been a year. I think it's been, a, yeah, it's been I think more than either a year or maybe less. Okay, so I'm good now. Should be good. Should be good. Caught on already. Caught on you. Okay, so now what we'll do is like this. There. I don't even know what I'm stuck on right now. I feel like it's could it be that? Be this. Not that. Dang, I am stuck right now. Sorry, everybody. <clears throat> there we go. Sweet. Just need to get in my line, I guess. Okay, hopefully... I'm gonna take this right through this thing right here. I'm not gonna mess with these trees. All right, finally we're we're back. <coughs> Just a little bit of a hang up there. Okay. Yep. Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness. Now I'm thinking maybe I should do this with the Ziggs. I don't know. I don't want to though. I feel like I don't want to use the Ziggs. I feel like that's like the easy mode. It's like, oh, you're in trouble? Okay, just use the Ziggs. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think we'll be alright though. Yeah, that's true. No way, I'm not definitely not using the Zix, man. 
I was almost thinking of using a different truck than this. Like, I don't know. I think I might... I might use this for, like, the first two little plane parts. And then, like, swap out to something else. I might use, like, a 6x6. So, I don't know. Any suggestions? Oh, here we go. The Dan? I can use the Dan. Yeah, I'll get the I'll get the Dan out then. Gotta say, this thing does great over rocks, man. My goodness. Oops. Sure, no one's gonna slide back there. Like, this truck is awesome, but there's an exception. Like, you have to have diff lock on. I don't know, it's weird. I feel like they should have gave it always on diff lock and gave it the switchable feature, kind of like the, uh, the P12. And if this thing would have been, like, I think it would have been on, like, I don't know. I almost, I really think the Dan actually outperforms this a little bit just because it's always on, like the diff lock and stuff. Oh, they feel similar. There we go. It's just gonna take a second to pull. I guarantee it. Turn to the over here. Nice, let's go. <clears throat> so the reason I brought the Paystar with the low saddle is because there's a huge um, tanker down at the bottom of this hill, kind of like where I, I just picked up this trailer that I'm going to use to take back and sell when this is all like said and done. So that's why I wanted that, that low saddle with the, uh, the metal detector. Ah, oh, I knew it. It's like... What's up, Toller Bear? Welcome to the stream, man. Everybody, Toller Bear is on Twitch watching in, so you can see his chat. Um, not on your chat, you can see it on the screen though. Because I am dual streaming to Twitch and to YouTube right now, so. Yeah, the only way you can really like see anybody else's chat is uh, on screen. If you're on a different platform. myself uh let me make this right and just go through here Actually, what's the easier way i don't want to go through there i don't want to go through there either i guess i'll just make the right i think that's kind of the only way But yeah, Toller, um, we're just talking, I'm just like talking about like brainstorming about my um, a little mini series I, I want to do, or I'm kind of thinking about. You were killing it on Dirt Rally 2.0? Okay, so the game's called Dirt Rally? I never heard of that. It sounds awesome though. So you went from like watching, you're playing Dirt Rally, which is like, what's it called? Like fast paced, exciting to me getting stuck on trees.
Ugh. I hate when it happens. It's addicting? <laughs> I bet, dude. I think, like, once I get caught up on this game and I get ahead, I guess, a little bit, I'm gonna start playing some other games, too. I mean, I still, I still watch people that, that stream other games. Um, especially, like, Resident Evil. Like, I watch people play, like, speedrunning on Resident Evil and stuff like that, because... I don't know, I like that stuff. It's kind of fun. I definitely never would do it, because... Yeah, I just don't have that type of skill, but I like... The cool game. Okay, let's get going here. This is going to be like, I think the longest part of the whole mission is just like taking these things back and forth. Dang, that sounds cool. I used to play, uh, I think it's Gran Turismo. I used to play Gran Turismo a lot. Um, but that was like back in the day on like PS3 or something like that. But like, I can't even imagine how far it's come. I've seen some people play Forza and stuff like that. I haven't seen any Dirt Rally games, what you're talking about, but that stuff looks sweet. Excuse me. Oh no, 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 no. There we go. Sweet. Actually, you know what? This is going to work out really good with the dam. Wreckfest? Is that kind of like another off-roading game? Dang, you know what I need to do? I need to- I need to bring... I need to bring a, a fuel truck over here. Probably what I'm gonna do actually is. Ah, uh, maybe not. I don't think I need to. We'll see. If I have to, I will. But. Okay, bring the wide semi trailer back here. Bingo. Cool. Alright. <clears throat> Okay, which one should we pull first, Quentin? Because you were the one that uh, requested me do this one on stream, so... Out of those three, which one should I pull the fuselage first, or the wings and the fragments? Demolition Derby theme? That sounds so cool. <clears throat> oh, Toller, you streamed it? I'm gonna follow you on Twitch, dude. I'll follow you for sure. The wings? Okay, so wings. I gotta figure this out. Give me a second. I gotta pull up, uh, see where the wings are at on, what's it called? Map runner. Burn the sky, fragment, piece of the wing. Piece of the wing. Okay, I don't know which is which, but we're just gonna do it up. The fuselage? Okay, so where's the fuselage at? Because on Map Runner it says, is the fuselage here? Because I know like Map Runner is is saying different things. Oh nice, I'd be your hundredth follower? Yeah, I got you dude. I will definitely follow you. 
Okay, cool. I, I think I see where it's at. All right, so we're going to switch to the Paystar. Okay, it's the closest one to me. Yeah, I think it's the one I pinged on the map. Then. All right, all, on we onward we go. I didn't use the uh, the metal detector for those little cars. I just knew where they were, and I went up and grabbed them. I think I grabbed them with the uh, the 5600 TS, and I just like stacked them in my bed, and then just delivered them. That was like so easy. There, I see it in there. Yep, there she is. Okay, now let's go grab Mr. Zix here. So what I'll do is I'll uh I'll pull this fuselage down with a Tatra then I'll go back to the garage I'll get the the Dan out and a fuel truck and I'll pull those all the way over here uh, because I know I'm gonna need to fuel some trucks up here like this this dude's halfway out I know the Paystar is probably not doing too well I'm just gonna need gas to go back and forth the big boy Kolob oh yeah Yeah, this, this one's a pain. This is one of the harder. They definitely made this, this one of the challenging. There she is. Get over here. Like, see how fast this crane is? Like, it's, it's so fast for me. Dude, this is sweet. Look at this. I literally just pulled a bomber out of the, the water. Let's just pin you down, and let's go. Yeah, just like we knew what we were doing. I almost want to see this. Quentin, I have to see this, man, so... I have to see this in daylight. Look at this. Wait, this is an allied bomber. What is this? A B... B-20... What is this? I think this is an allied bomber. B-17, maybe? B-26, okay. My grandfather was actually... I think it was on the B-17, the Strato Fortress. I think he was a gunner on that aircraft. B-25. He was, uh, he was stationed in Hawaii, actually. So the crazy thing is, like, I guess the one night is kind of weird. I don't know why I'm actually bringing this up. So he never told anybody what he did in the Air Force, really, because he was a he was an instructor gunner on, on these uh, bombers. And guys would come into his restaurant later in life and basically kind of like make fun of him because he was in the Army Air Corps, right? And they'd be like, his nickname was Priz. And they'd be like, Priz, you didn't do anything in the war and this and that. And I guess the one time he got drunk one night and my... No! Sorry about that. <laughs> and my grandma told me that, or no, she told my dad that he told her 
because he never talked about what he did in the Air Force at all. Like, he really never spoke to anybody about it. Like, not even his wife. And I think what I heard was from his brother, or from her brother, he told me that... What he told her... He told me that the one night he got drunk and told her that he was part of the training of the guys who bombed uh, Hiroshima. So I think, like, after that, he didn't never told anybody about what he did. So I think he had, like, a part to play in, like, the training of that mission. So, yeah, he just never told anybody. But I don't know how accurate it is, but... That's what my uncle told me. Oh no, don't be stuck. Okay. Have just the medicine, my dude. I have just the medicine for you. Got high center on a rock, of course. It's alright though. I wonder what his gas looks like. I might I might want to fill him up with the Zix here. Maybe I'll do that before he sets off. But yeah, the crazy thing is, um I was looking for his records, my grandpa's records, and there was a fire. So I was stationed on Hickam as well. Um, the same Air Force Base, uh, I was an enlisted aviator, I flew on the C-17s. So I was trying to figure out, like, what he did, because, like, I, when I heard that, I was still in the Air Force. And I was, like, trying to figure out what he did, this and that. Okay, wait, I might actually fuel you from here. Refuel. I wish I'd get you out of the way here. And I was trying to figure out what he did, and then when I was calling the records office and like making my inquiries, um, a, a guy called me back that knew my family actually, and he was like, "Yeah, like I would, I'd be, I'd be down to give you the records, but there was a fire and they all burn up, so I couldn't get a hold of any of those." What am I doing? I was supposed to pull him out, sorry. And yeah, I couldn't find out, but. I couldn't get his actual detailed records of everything. Come on, get over that rock. Let's go. There we go. Hey, appreciate it, man. Yeah. Yeah, I was in the I was in the Air Force. If you look at if you're on Twitch and you scroll down. Uh, the about tab you'll see like I ha I'm like standing there there's like pictures of me like I'm in my uniform and stuff like that I threw some pictures on, on my twitch page I don't know Daniel that's a that's a good question I never knew it was uh it was more expensive actually I'm gonna do this view just so we can have this view right here you know Alright, so that's the fastest we're probably ever going to be going. And now we're going to slow down to a crawl. Hey, thanks, man. Yeah, I travel. I basically traveled for my job. Loading the aircraft, backing up pilots with systems and stuff like that. Yeah, it was, it was cool. I went to, I think I've been to like 34 countries. But it just beat me up. It was a, the, the job beat me up for sure the heavy li heavy lifting stuff and dealing with heavy machinery non-stop traveling I mean shoot when you're traveling like multiple time zones in a day and then waking up the next morning and traveling multiple time zones again like that stuff messes with you best job I ever had though that's 
That is for certain, dude. Like, oh shoot, how how did I get through here last time? Like, uh, I know, I, I know. I, See if that works. No. Uh -huh. There we go. Maybe that'll work. Okay. Oh, he is? Dang, where's he getting deployed to? Definitely not Bagram, because I know they just shut that base down. Dude, are you serious? I'm stuck on that? Yo, Quentin, should I be going a different way? I almost feel... I almost feel like I should be. I, I don't I don't remember, that's the thing. I don't remember these routes. Okay, I need to get past this tree. Okay, so where you went? Okay, that's fine then. I can I can roll. I can do it up. Let's get this turn in here. See if I can like make this turn. So I remember this mission was like me literally sitting with the winch button all the time. I'm thinking about it like I remember I would get stuck and I would just sit here with the winch like pulling and it would finally pull through so I think that's how it goes oh man it is raining so hard here um, I gotta say guys if my internet gets disconnected um, yeah I apologize okay so let's see here let's try to get like get like over This way. And it's coming down. Through the clearing by the mini town. Oh, the mini town. This clearing right here? Oh, shoot. I think you're right, man. You know, I think you're. You might. I think you're actually right. I might actually back up and go that way. Uh, hold up. Let's see if I can do this. Let's see now if I can get through. Go like this and we'll pull this over. Cool, I glitched through. Haha. <laughs> okay, cool. Switch my camera here figure out what I gotta do. Let's go. Remember I was talking about uh, bringing that that um that fuel truck. I think I'm probably gonna have to do that a lot sooner. Oh, I keep grabbing these like these ones that break. Watch. Oh, there we go. Let's do this. I think that's it right there.
Mm, shoot. Two days ago, you got mud right here? What do you think about it? Good. Dude, this is why, like, auto would be great. And have, like, all those on diff lock right now. Yeah, I think I'm good. Cool, let's go. Okay. Try to keep this on the outside here so I can actually. It's different. That's good though. So do you think do you think SnowRunner is like a huge improvement from that game? Or do you think like there are things like at what aspects do you think they should implement? Like or they should like take Well shoot, I guess you just bought it, so. Probably a question I should ask later. Okay, let's see. What am I stuck at? Like anywhere? I don't even think I am. Okay, so what I'll do is I'm gonna put this. Snow Runner is better. I agree. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how another game, like another uh, game from that series, could be better than this right now. There we go. And that's why the engine was getting caught. The wing in the engine. Okay, so I need to take this like slow-ish. Here. Nice, got through there. But now I need to get this way. Watch. Oh cool, I didn't. It's not gonna break. Snowrunner's by far better. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Oh, okay. So spin tires and mud runner were like. Okay, that makes sense. I'm glad well I'm glad the the company stuck with it. Like, I really am, like... Because, I mean, honestly, like... I enjoy the mess out of this game. And I never... The crazy thing is I never thought I would see myself playing an off-roading game. Like, you know, I play games like... Oh, gosh, World of Warcraft. Uh, World of Tanks. World of, uh... Warships. For so long, and like... I don't know. Just night. This game is so awesome because, like, it's just not. It's not competitive, you know? I feel like I've been in the competitive arena, like, doing stuff like that for so long. Well, let me just try my engine off, Lucian. I'm gonna check out your chat here so I'm gonna catch up. Oh, okay. Lucian, I think you're talking about this. Ah, uh, so I came up with the Zix. Oh, you're talking about right here? This this area? Dow to gaming. Uh, welcome to the stream, man. Appreciate you stopping in. Sorry if I sound like a uh I don't know, nasally and stuff. I'm I'm just battling uh and it's like a sinus infection, so sorry about that. Some old maps. That'd be kind of cool, yeah. I think that'd be that'd be a cool thing to like, like a paid DLC. If they want to make some money, that I think that people would buy that stuff. Not much, man. I'm just uh, I'm sick here trying to do this stars in the sky mission. Basically, like the final finale. Okay, that's the route. Okay, that's probably what I should have done, Lucian. Honestly, but. Next, the next map, or not the next map, shoot, what's going on here? 
What is going on? The next, uh, next time I pull something, which I'm gonna have to pull something again, I'll take that route. You know, probably is so much faster, like you said. Let's see. Here we go. Sweet. Now let's cut in. Shoot. Oh, reverse. Alright, Quint, no worries. Yeah, no worries, dude. Do what you gotta do. Oh, you cave up on the Mondra while doing the ar armored cars? So the armored cars, um... This is my turn here. Hold on a second. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna, like, draw this out so I can just keep talking and not keep going to my map. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm not going through this gap. I'm... I think I'm... I almost want to take it down here. But, uh, no, I'll just go through the gap, I guess. Cause I know I can get through this gap. I can winch and stuff like that. It's not going to be too hard. I've done it. But right here, I need to go down to this beach and then over and up. Oh, so, uh, Daltu Gaming, um... The armored cars, so the, the crazy thing about the armored cars is like, so one sits right there, shoot. One sits like right here, like right here, and then the other sits in here, and you don't really need to um, use the metal detector or anything. What I did was I took the 5600 TS and I loaded both of them in the bed. One was packed, the other I just like pinned down with me, my, uh, um, with my, uh, what's it called, crane, and then I just delivered them. Juan Carlos, what's up, man? Uh, do you have to use the same semi-trailer for all the bomber parts? Um, so I think, here's what I think. I think you initially just have to get that semi-trailer that was sitting here to the area and then I think you can use other five slot wide trailers but they have to be the wide ones so the high saddle wide trailer like the one I have right here because if I remember like a year ago when I did this mission I'm pretty sure I brought two two trailers up like I brought the one and then I I, I brought the one they gave me District, what's up, man? Welcome to the chat. District, you streaming today? If anybody doesn't know, District uh, B13 Gaming. Um, he streams on Twitch. He's a great streamer. I usually hang out in his stream for a little bit when I'm not doing other type of nerdy things like editing footage and stuff like that. I'm gonna get this end kicked over so I can actually make this turn. You forgot to bring the crane? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's frustrating. That's super frustrating, man. I feel for you. Oh, you can use the crane and drag them back to the airport? I didn't know that. I thought they had to be packed. There we go. Should be able to get a little roll back there. Oh, you, you streamed this morning? Okay. Yeah, I know, right? Like, I was thinking about that. It's been a year since Amandra. Wait, when did a Mondra drop? Oh, okay, just pack them at the airport, yeah. 
Jimmy Boy, welcome to the channel, man. Sorry, I'm. Uh, I sound nasally. I'm just fighting a uh, an infection here, sinus infection. So, but yeah, welcome to the chat. Shoot, actually, I might go down this way. I don't know if I can fit this thing through that that channel. Actually, hold up. I might go this way. That's right. I'm gonna back up. The crane tactic? Yeah. A toller bear? Yeah, you can. And that's something I do all, all the time, man. I'll do the, the crane cheat where I just... Like, when I picked this thing up with the Zix on the crane, with the crane, I could have just literally brought it to the airport. And then, you know, get it up that way. But I think for the sake of just doing the mission, like I told Quentin I would do, I'm just going to do it up. But yeah, I do the uh, the crane cheat so much. Like, can't believe I'm I'm admitting that too. Can I review the Dairy Longhorn, uh, Jimmy? I actually have reviewed the Dairy Longhorn. It's on my uh, it's on my YouTube channel. If you just go to the the Snowrunner reviews, um, the Snowrunner reviews, I think it's the, the playlist. It's on there. But yes, it's it's on the site. I've reviewed it. Had a really good time reviewing it as well. So yeah, check it out, man. I know, right? Daniel, that's so true. When I came home today, I was like, I'm just going to play SnowRunner. Like, I don't feel good. I don't want to do anything. It's raining outside like cats and dogs. That poor dairy, yeah. A little engine that could. A Mondra dropped in August? Dang. It's so crazy, man. Yeah, this is the better route. I would never I never would have got it through those trees. There's no stinking way. Yeah, uh, Jimmy Boy, if you just go to my my website, I, I don't know, like it should be on there, actually. All my reviews that I've done, I put them on a playlist. So it'll be the SnowRunner truck review playlist. And I think there's like 20 of them up right now, so far. That's kind of crazy to think about. Like, I've done 20 SnowRunner reviews already. Like, I literally remember, like, doing my first truck review and then thinking it was, like, <laughs> I thought, like, the quality was good or something like that. And then now looking back on it, I was like, dang, like, it's so crazy how you learn things, like, as you go. But yeah, just through trial and error is like the bet one of the best ways to learn things. Come on, baby, just come on. Don't get stuck up. Okay, I know what I gotta do. I gotta pull this over. That's where I'm stuck here. Yep, 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 yep. Let's go. Come on. Nice. Uh, you did. District, you did, man. You did say that. I mean, that's like, that's what I want, man. I, I just want people to, like, anybody who's new to the game to, like, when they... I, I, I know, this is what I did. Like, when I picked up a truck, I would immediately go to YouTube or, like, Google, and I would try to find reviews on trucks. I would want to see like what it's like and that's kind of like how I found um, you know the Azov, the, P the Paystar, you know stuff like that just from like seeing what other people said about it but I never found like any 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 reviews like super in-depth reviews other than like Mr. Lone Wolf does some really good ones I think he's very thorough too oh no I got caught And here we are. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, 
bipolar, that's that's something I learned, um, forget. I think it was actually relatively re recently as well, to be honest. Hold on a second, I need to find out. Look at this, pull this over, I'm getting stuck here. Sweet, okay, cool. I appreciate that, Jimmy boy. District, I appreciate that, man. I really do. I take a lot of time to, to like, make sure, like, I'm, I'm right. I, I really do. I try to ha give people correct information. And that's kind of, like, what I want to do. I don't want to, like, bash trucks or anything. I want to give people information and let them decide. You know, like, because the thing is, like, we all have our preferences. And we're all going to say, like, oh, this truck's better, this truck's better. Well, I would just rather give you the information that I have and, like, also a little bit of how I feel and just let you let people just you know decide for themselves oh gosh here we go with this stuff I gotta get daylight out so we can see this okay let's do it or not Yeah, I think I think so too. I, I really do think some people just make them too fast. They like. I think you're right, Toller. Honestly, guys, we're just gonna have to glitch this through the trees. This is how I, I had to do it last time. So bear with me here. I won't take that route again. I'm gonna take a different route gaming wheel you know I think some people gear their their reviews to do like let's see I know I glitched this through the trees last time so I know what to do. I know exactly what to do. Oh shoot, I can't unpack. That's what I did last time, I unpacked it. Actually, here we go. This is exactly what I needed. Oh no, it's a little tree. Never mind. All right, back to the drawing board. Back to the drawing board. The Ford CLT. Um, Jimmy, I actually did that one too. Yeah, it's on. It's on my website. So if you go to some, like go to my website and then um, I think you either click videos or even in the home page you'll see like the SnowRunner review truck reviews and it's like a playlist. Yeah man, check them out. I ho hope they help and uh, that's actually that's what I really hope. I hope they really hope they help because if not then I shouldn't be making them. All right, here we go. I think we're gonna glitch through. Come on, baby. So you think they're the same person? I mean, I mean, gosh, they have so many, um, they have so many, um, followers and so many, so many subscribers, man. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to bash any, anybody who, who creates content. Honestly, I, I, I do like their stuff. I watch it. Um, 
But I think I enjoy... I'm going to say I, I probably enjoy Mr. Lone Wolf the best just because... Um, one, he's kind of funny. There we go. Did you see that? That was nuts. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there you go. That's how you glitch through. But I enjoy Mr. Lone Wolf just because, like... I don't know. It's it's good to actually like hear him talk about it a little bit more, you know. What am I stuck on? I think I need, just need to pull forward actually. I think that's the that's the issue. I couldn't believe that happened. I just like flew down the hill. It just like busted. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, I was like. That, I was like recording the clip and I was like, man, I'm just going to do a, like a face dive off this cliff. And the crazy thing is I was like rolling sideways and I was like, you know what? We're just going to go for it. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh, I got to see where I'm caught. Oh, that's, that's, I'm caught on the tail. I just need to pull through again. Sorry guys. <laughs> Gonna glitch again. Oh yeah, he always has the loaf out. It's fun to watch him. He's he's cool. I like him. I mean a tribe called Cars is good too. He he has some really good content. He has really good editing skills. Far better than mine. You know, he's been doing it a long time. Very good, uh, I don't know. I enjoy, I don't know, I enjoy a lot of them, though. I enjoy information. That's, honestly, that's what it is. Um, I, en I just enjoy information. Like, give me information, and then, like, I'll, I'll play it. So, that's kind of, like, how I am. Come on, baby. Okay, let's see here. What can I do? I know I can do. I'm going to back up a little bit, and then I'm going to try to, like, get this thing unhooked. Or not. <laughs> the SD1 reviews? Okay, so what reviews are you talking about in general? I don't know. That dude produces a lot of content, so... What, what, what do you mean? Okay, what is that? <laughs> Please. Oh, gosh. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can do this to here. Maybe that'll work. Oh, and the SnowRunner reviews? Um, you talking about, like, when he does the, uh, like, the showdowns and stuff like that? Alright, I think I'm too close to my mic. <laughs> I'm gonna, like, pull this back a little bit. Okay, for the record, I'm not taking this route again <laughs> when I pull the plane parts. Or I probably could, actually, because they're not going to, like, stick out like this. But, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. And just, you have to, this is something you have to do. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. Watch this. I'm going to do this. No! What in the world? Did you see that? Okay, I gotta go get it. What in the world? I, I literally thought I was gonna fly away. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here and I'm gonna go get my Zix. To, uh... <laughs> oh my gosh. Well... Hey, I didn't... I never said I was gonna be Quentin. I don't know if you can rewind that, but... My bird just flew. Okay, let's go get the Zix. All right. You missed literally probably 10 seconds ago. That thing just took flight. I let it like it was like a slingshot. Yeah, basically it was like I'm out of here. See you later. <laughs> Dude, do it. <laughs> That's so funny. Clip that. Oh man. 
<clears throat> so, <laughs> I thought that it was going to, like, you know, just unpack and then, you know, slowly start sliding down my ramp on my flatbed. And then I was just going to pack, repack it as soon as I got past that branch. But no, it just, like, the, bra <laughs> the branch, like, flung it across the map. It, it, like, literally just took off. I, I honestly thought it was going to fly away. I'm definitely going to need a, uh... A tanker to come over here. Dude, if you were here two minutes ago, you would have saw... It was crazy. <clears throat> Even, um, even before that, like, I glitched through the tree. I literally, like, bulldozed this tree over, like, with the winch attached. I was sitting there, like, just pulling on the winch forever, and finally, like, the, the airplane just, like, blew over this tree, and I, like, fly down the hill. Yeah, dude, do it. Look at uh, an hour and 26 minutes, I mean, I think, or hour and 25 minutes. Yeah, that's probably where it happened. Oh, that was wild. That was crazy. Okay, so we need to go straight, make the right. Actually, hold on. No, I need to go get the plane. Okay, so I can just go this way. Make the left and then hit the path. Cool, let's go. You're watching this in the middle of night? Jimmy Boy, where, you, where do you live? You probably live over in Europe, right? Bingo. <laughs> nice, dude. I'm glad you guys got some excitement from that. I was like... Sitting there just holding the, the trigger down, pulling the winch the whole time. Yeah, I'm definitely coming down this way, I think, the next time I use this. Oh, you live in Sweden. Nice, man. So it's probably like what? So, let's see, Greenwich, England, Zulu time is plus seven from here. So that's like not, almost 10 o'clock. What time is it there? It has to be like, probably, it has to be like past 10, I think. I know, right? District, they are like rubber bands. Look at that thing just sitting up there. All majestic looking. I actually, uh, to be honest, Toller, I, shoot, I gotta think about how I can... Maybe I'll download that clip and kind of like play it as like a blooper or something like that. I'd be like, you know, put it as an upside. Hey, I can make planes fly out of the oh dang it's midnight okay okay let's pin this down and let's go oh shoot Pull my outriggers in. Let's go. Shoot, I can't see. I'm trying to high center myself here. So for the sake of not doing this like bit massive cheat where I can basically haul this over like we talked about, um, I'm actually going to repack it onto the trailer and do it up. Some right there. Yeah, it is sketch. But it's, it's sketchy, but the Zix, man, when you get this truck, it's. I don't know. <laughs> it's weird. This vehicle was amazing. Alright, let's see. Here we go. Round two. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what's happening here? Get up there. Okay. Okay. Check me out, I'm flying. Shoot, I probably should be on the other side. Sweet. Let's do it. Make a crippled plane fly, yeah. The only truck that can slingshot. I've seriously never done that before in my life. I can't believe that happened. What in the world? Uh, it, might, it might work. I seem to back up, I think. No, don't you dare glitch out. I knew it. Oh, I glitched out. Dude, seriously? Don't do it again. What in the world is going on? <laughs> My goodness. So, I don't want to pack this, because, like, I know it's going to happen. Gosh. Okay, let's, let's get out of here. Get out of here! Let me see here. Nope, can't pack. Alright, let's get over here. You just watched Jurassic World, and this is the first video that came up on YouTube? Wait, my video? That's odd. Uh, I might be able to back out of this one on a second. I'm just stuck. I'm not actually, like, glitched anymore. Okay, now let's back out of here. Did, did you see that? <laughs> There's no way you can make that up. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I, I'm gonna need gas. Like, I'm definitely gonna need fuel. Okay, let's do it. I need to refuel myself. Oh man, roof rack. Go. Actually, hold up. So I want to go down this way. Maybe. No, no, no. I'm gonna go straight. Sorry, sorry guys. I'm trying to think. Like I don't want to hit rocks. I don't have anything to winch to down there. That's kind of like why I'm... But I can still get there from here. I have winch points where I'm at, so we'll go this way. No. Yep. Uh, Jimmy Boy, the truck I'm gonna do next. Let's see. Um, so if you go to my reviews, any review you click on, like if you click on the, um, let's see, the KRS Bandit review, and you go to the details or like the little details thing, and hit show more, you'll see a link there that has an Excel sheet. Actually, it's a Google Doc, and that has like my ratings for my trucks. Um, and stuff like that, but it also shows what truck I'm doing next. So I'm actually 
Um, doing the Chevrolet CK1500 next. And I actually, I finished the video yesterday. I was behind and I like powered through it. Um, so hopefully it still has good quality though. But yeah, the Chevrolet CK1500 is going to be my next video. I hope that I can do this, um, my new uh, map. It's, it's called Route Runner. I'm going to do like a Route Runner um, review where I kind of go over... Uh, the difficulty of each like trail on on maps but i'm just kind of like trying to iron it out right now and that's kind of like i talked about it earlier in the stream today like kind of like when i opened up but that's that's what i want to do i want to what, what am i stuck on there's like nothing uh game uh snow runner what what's going on here bud What was that? I like just bumped the... That was so weird. Whatever though. Okay, so I need to go to my left down this little path. Uh, Jimmy boy, what, what part of the game are you on if you don't mind me asking? Okay, missed those rocks. Good to go. Hope I'm making you proud here, uh, Quentin. Because this is a good challenge. I can't wait to get the uh, the Dan out, honestly. I want to see how the Dan does this. I feel like it's going to be really good. So, we'll see though. Man, this thing takes rocks so good though. Like, with that suspension? Holy cow. So they do give you winch points down here, like these little logs. And that's kind of like another reason. It's like kind of telling you like, hey, this is the way you're supposed to go. Because if you get high centered, there's your uh, lifeline. Okay, I'm gonna like cut over this way a little bit. You got stuck in all the rocks though? Oh shoot. Just like that, huh? It's like I just did. Let's see if I can back out. Take a different route here. Wait a second. High centered right now. Yep. High centered. Okay, so this is actually giving me an opportunity to do something I want to do. So I'm going back to the garage. I'm going to pull out a tanker in the dam. I'm going to check out the chat here for a second because I think I'm behind. Oh, so you got stuck in the dam a lot? Yeah, I'm, I mean, I probably will just because of the front end, but we'll see. You're on Mountain River. And I flipped the oil semi oil rig semi trailer. Oh dang! Oh man, don't worry. I've I've flipped some some freaking things in my time. That's for sure. All right, let's see here. We're gonna run with that blue today. Actually, no. I need to get back in here. That's a high saddle. Okay, high saddle. Dan's cold trailer. You don't have any paid DLC maps or vehicles. Okay. Oh, so then Russia is going to... You have Alaska, Michigan, and Russia right now? Okay, I'm trying to think what, what tanker should I use. I'm actually going to... I know what I'm going to do. Using the big boy tanker. This is, yep, the, the extra fuel right here. Let's change up the color though. Oh, I do like that black.
Yeah, the Dan is is a solid truck. Okay, Jimmy boy. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna, you're still gonna have a ton of fun, honestly, man. Like, with what you got, like with what you have right now, like. Honestly, some of the best trucks in the game are from the original. Actually, a ton of them. I think most of them. I don't think really any of the, the new DLC trucks would be, like, that are groundbreaking. I mean, like, I would say the Zix. Um, the... What's it called? I'm trying to think. I can't think right now. The Bandit's really good. That's a DLC. But yeah, I mean, like, the Tega, the Vorons, the Azovs, like, those are all from the original game, and they're, they're solid trucks. That's good, man. I'm glad you're enjoying it. It's a fun, chill game, like... That's why I play it. Shoot. It is. So I think, like, what hap what, what's happening is, like, new players are coming into the game, and... Jimmy Boy, this is why I think that it's good that you haven't purchased the DLCs yet. Because, like, if you bought the DLCs all right now, right, you, you would be starting the game with, like, I don't know. If you bought every paid DLC, Phase 1, Phase 2, I mean, like, when you fired up the initial game, you would have, like, anxiety, like, when you hit your garage. Because you'd have all these vehicles that you just do not know about. And, like, it kind of takes away from the game because, like, then you have the Tatra sitting in your garage. You have the Bandit. You have, like, all these trucks that, like... That kind of like gets your attention away from like struggling through the first parts of the game and like learn like learning you know what i'm saying but that's just my two cents like that's just like how i i think but i know i was overwhelmed when i first hit the garage and i was like what is all this stuff like sat there forever yeah Yeah, I agree. Polar, I agree. That's for sure. I like the P five twelve. Gosh, I, I really. That's a truck I've been missing playing on. This honestly. Turn off. Okay, the Dan's on. Good. I think the P five twelve would be my favorite truck in the game. If it had all wheel drive. I would, I would opt for the developers to take away the diff lock feature and just give it all-wheel drive. That's it. Kind of like the, uh, um, like the BM17 and the Navistar. Okay, let's just try to get through here. These tires are like slinkies. Watch this. Just like, boom, 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 boom. All right, Dan, help me out here. Help me out, brother. Oh, shoot. Oh. Just gotta get him over these rocks and we're good to go. All right, District, man. Thank you, thank you for stopping in. Uh, I didn't do the twin steer review yet. I forget what what part it's on the list. It's it's near the bottom of the list right now. Um, I have the CK fifteen hundred this Friday. The Friday after that is the Step three ten Echo, and then I think I want to say the Tatra is after that. And then I think after the Tatra, it might be the um, the twin steer. Oh, dude, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do the twin steer. Actually, uh, Vincent requested that one a little bit ago. So yeah, dude, I'm actually, I'm super excited. Especially with the um, the all-wheel drive upgrade, that thing is a monster. But even without, I don't know if anybody can find the videos of that thing doing the container deliveries and beating like trucks like the Tega. Um, my jaw was like, hit the floor when I saw that. It was getting better times. Uh, I just couldn't believe it. I don't know if that video is even still up on the internet, but... 
I'd like to see it now, honestly. I believe so too, Toller. Best trucks are base game. And uh, the Twin Steers, what's it called? Twin Steers, base game. It just got that upgrade. Let's see. I've been playing since the start 2021. And my favorite truck is the Freightliner 114ST. Yo, the Freightliner 114ST. Uh, I spent my first stream in a Mondra. I think it's like maybe two streams ago. Um, I used that truck exclusively to unlock the garage here. To do like tasks to unlock the garage or the, the contracts. And I was surprised, man. I was really like impressed. It's a good it's a good truck for what it is. Oh, even without the all-wheel drive, it's awesome. But yeah, district, thanks for stopping by, dude. Yeah, that's true. You just honestly like I don't know. That thing with the ma it has a massive engine. It has those massive tires. Like, if you can keep it from tipping. Oh, you're golden. Uh oh. Am I going to freeze him? Oh. I thought my game was freezing there, guys. <laughs> Sorry. I am dropping some frames because I think my, my internet's kind of being whack. So let me know if my, my internet's kind of acting up. It doesn't. That's true. It doesn't need all-wheel drive. Oh, you remember that stream, Quentin? Oh, that was the stream where I was, like, tipping sideways in that little death gully. I couldn't believe I actually got out of there. Okay, let's, let's try to get to this rescue and not tip these two trucks over. I'm not necessarily worried about the Dan tipping, I'm just worried about this guy. Uh, should I go through here? Let's see, no. no. Uh, I think up here, I, go, I dip down. I think it's after this, I jump down in there. So... Something I've been noticing about this truck is like, I mean, it's a powerful truck, but like, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like sometimes I, it just needs like diff locked. Like when it's like this, it's, it's awesome. Like it, I have no issues, but like sometimes I feel like it, it feels underpowered, but it's not, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's really not an underpowered truck. Don't blow my tire. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going down. Definitely going down here. <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't high center there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the fuel tank is a super heavy add-on. And this one is like an extended fuel tank because it has uh, an extended body. So more fuel, more weight. All right, Toller, thanks for stopping in, man. Have a wonderful Saturday. Enjoy yourself. Thank you again for stopping in. Appreciate it. As always. Look at the, look at the northern lights, man. Just look at that. Crazy. Okay, I'll bring him over separate here.
So, <laughs> you know what's funny is, like, when I just jumped in this truck, I remembered something that, uh, <laughs> that Mr. Lone Wolf said about this. He said it looks like a lollipop. He's like, this lollipop looking thing. <laughs> I just jumped in here and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Thought that was hilarious. I might be the only one, but that's all right. I have to refuel myself pretty soon here. Really? It was completely white? That's crazy. Oh, that hurt. I don't know, this thing just kind of feels sluggish without... Well, actually, it's true. It's kind of... This thing is freaking heavy. This add-on. That's true. I need to fuel up. I need to. 740. What in the world? I can't fuel the Dan. Dan probably doesn't need it, honestly. Missed call. My mom. Oh, district's going live. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna go duck down and grab this. Rescue this guy. Maybe throw some fuel in there too. Uh, I'm trying to think here. I think it should be okay. This seems like a good line. Go down this way. Oops. I don't know why I don't have my lights on. Let's turn around. I gotta say, the Paystar handles rocks pretty dang well. Turn engine on. Actually, you know what? I'll get him out of here before I refuel him. Okay. Hmm, that's where I want to go. That's the line. I'm going to go right back where I came from. Come on, baby. This mission takes so long. I don't think I'll get snagged up as much, though, in the next round. I won't have things, like, sticking out. Should be good here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back down and refuel this guy. Let's see if I can fuel him from here. Yep, I can. Atra. And yeah, let's get you out of here, and then I'm gonna continue that. Man, two hours just doing this mission alone. How they meant it. Okay, cool. 
Oh, I should refuel the, the stacks. I can do that later, though. Okay, this is going to be kind of tricky, but not going to be bad. Okay, nice. That's... That worked. Hmm. Now I'm thinking here. Okay, I know what to do. Okay, now... Oh wait, 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 wait. No, this one. There we go. That's what I want. Need to swing my end around so I can actually get this. Perfect. That's how I want it right there. Yeah, we're just hung up. I, uh, it'll catch here in a second. And this is why people play with mods, because like situations like this, the best off-road truck, um, so I'm gonna, well, I can tell you two things, I can tell you what's my favorite, and I can tell you what I think objectively is the best. Um, so, and I will actually show you. So, objectively, I'm going to say this truck right here, the Zix 605R, is probably the, the best. I, honestly, like, if you watch my video and just look at it compared to, like, everything else on what it can do, how easy it makes things, um, this truck is it right here. I think it's the king. I know there's been like speculation of like who's the king people say you know the Azov or one of the Azovs or the Tega the Voron Grad Quint that's a really good truck by the way the Voron Grad is a boss with its new engine from phase four insane I seriously like um, my favorite truck is this guy right here and I think everybody else probably already knows where I'm going with this this is my favorite for an off-road class. Oh, you mean for an off-road class truck? Okay, dude, he, I'm going to be real. What Quentin said, the the Voron Grad, I think the top three, actually, it's kind of hard. This is kind of hard. Give me a second. I'm going to go into my storage, go to it. All right. All right. This is uh, what I think. Honestly, I would say the best, like it depends on what you think is the best. Like you're talking about like just trailblazing, like just smashing through terrain or you mean like just grinding it out. Like I think honestly, the Tega, at, anytime you mention like the best off-road truck, you have to put this in the, the conversation. Um, you just have to. It's crazy that the things I've done with this truck, I almost like use it as like I don't give a crap what happens and it just comes out on top. It's weird. The Voron Grad, I'm actually going to go into this real quick. This engine right here is incredible. Just trail riding. I think for trail riding, um, 
I'm going to say the Vorons or the Vorons, the Tega, but I honestly think one of the best trucks to just like go ballistic on trails is this truck right here. Um, it's insane. If you watch the video on this, I haven't reviewed the Tega and the Vorons yet. The Paystar is good as well. The Paystar is really good. That's one of my favorite trucks. The Paystar is so good. But yeah, I, I think this truck right here, cr it crushes things. It really does, especially with the high range gearbox. And I can pretty much say that for like all the Vorons as well and the Tega. But the reason, the reason people say the Tega is the best is because it was the first vehicle to get these tires right here. I can find it. Uh, I can find it. So the Vorons don't have access to these tires and I'll show you. Honestly, the ANK is really strong too. When you get the tires, when you get the, um, what's it called? I'll show you, but I don't have the, the suspension yet because I haven't got there, but I'll show you these tires that the ANK gets later. And they just added these, these tires right here. Um, Honestly, like once you're able to attach these and you need the right suspension, I think it's like in phase two, it gets the active suspension. And these tires right here make this thing insane. But yeah, let's go to the Tega real quick so I can show you. And then I'll continue with this mission before I get stuck on too much of a tangent here, which I tend to do. These right here, oh wait. These tires right here. So these were the first, this is the first truck to ever get these tires. And they're just like these balloons. They make the vehicle much more stable because they sit wider. Um, it takes boulders really well with the race suspension. Like if you ever see, you know, videos on this truck, like with the high range gearbox, it runs through things. It really does. I can't take anything away from it. I'm not a fanboy of it like like everybody else. But it's a good truck. I think I don't know. It's weird. Like I can't give you like a definitive answer about it because there are so many good off-road trucks that like just some some have like a little bit better things on the other like in other categories and other things. You know what I'm saying? It's like different. Oh my gosh, it's so good for deep mud, man. It's amazing. Okay, where was I at? I'm on this guy. All right, let's get this done. Let's get this done and get this Dan on this mission. Yeah, it has great stability too. I think the... I think this. I think the Tega has better stability than the Vorons because of those tires. I think if you take those away and give it the other mud tire variants, you, they're pretty much, I wouldn't say the same stability, but you're going to see similar stability values between those trucks. But like, you know, I've all, I've also seen, you know, videos of people saying that the, the Voron D and the Voron AE like have better performance, like than the Tega and stuff like that. And I don't really know how to like judge that yet. No, I don't know. I've seen videos where people were saying, you know, the Voron D is, has, you know, better values than people, other people saying the Voron AE and yeah, it's, it's everywhere. So, I, so but basically what you have to do is you have to just go into the truck, like go into the garage and just look at them. Because like, I don't know, the only Voron that has as much fuel in its tank is the Voron Grad. And the Voron Grad has a switchable feature for like all wheel drive and diff lock, which I love personally. Yeah, honestly, that, Jimmy, I think that's right. Like I. That's kind of like how I try to think is just like, you know, it's all about 
which truck you like and which truck you want to make work. Do you know what I mean? I think you can, you can make any truck work in the game. It's just, it all depends on your patience. Like right now, um, this is my patience. <laughs> I think I'm stuck. Actually, I'm still crawling. I almost think I should go get the other trucks and pull them out. But I'm like right here. I'm just gonna stay. But yeah, for me, I'm like a, a slow and steady type of guy where like, run, like, I don't know, speed running and like, you know, blazing through things is not really my, my like, I don't know. I'm not really about that. I'm gonna go get this other, these other two trucks because I need to get them anyways and I'll pull this out. Oh gosh, how am I gonna turn you around in this spot? But yeah, check out the... Honestly, I think you should get all the Vorons and get the Azov 5319 if you like the fast place, fast paced gameplay. And I think you're going to be very happy with just running those those four trucks. Or no, five. Yeah. The Dan is a good truck too. Oh my gosh, such a good truck. Okay, so trucks that are fuel efficient and fast on road and off road. So here's the thing. This is where it gets kind of tricky, right? Because I feel like the developers, they do this thing where they'll give a truck great ability off road and it's fat. They'll be fast, right? Kind of like vehicles like, you know, the Vorons, the Tega, the, the Dolphin or AKA the Azov 5319. And they'll, they'll make them really great, you know, high performance. But like vehicles like the Dolphin has a super small fuel tank. It's like 200 liters. I think it's like 53 gallons, maybe. I forget. I don't know what the conversion is, but it's super small. Um, and it chews a ton of gas. So like that's like your downside, right? It's like you have to trade something. So I find that like trucks like the Dan... The Tatra here that's pulling this plane, the Azov 64131, they're like slower trucks. They have a ton of power and they're very fuel, like very fuel efficient. But I think a vehicle that does have that now is... The Voron Grad. So the but the thing is with the Voron Grad, you gotta get its upgrade, and I'm gonna show you where its upgrade is. It's literally one of the last upgrades I've ever got in this game. And it was so hard to get. This is the hardest map in the game. And I think the upgrade was like over here somewhere. I forget. Maybe I'm I could be wrong. Maybe it was in a different spot. I think it was on a different map, actually. I, I forget. I'd have to go check. But after it got that upgrade, it's kind of crazy because, like, it was, like, the the upgrade on the engine gave it, like, massive power, right? But it also gave it better fuel consumption, which is kind of weird because, like, in SnowRunner, whenever they give you a, a more powerful engine, the, like, the trade-off is always fuel. Like, the, you always burn more fuel. Yeah, dude, the, yeah, the Dan's pretty fast, actually, for its how big it is that's true solid solid choice too man whenever Quentin Quentin gets back tell him tell him that he'll be happy he loves the Dan that's like his favorite truck 
Excuse me. Sorry about that. This cold got a hold of me, man. Okay, so now we're going to drop this sucker off. Oh, get out of the way. Cool. All right. Now we're going to do is detach. I'm going to pull you off to the side here. You're going to chill. I'm going to go with the Dan. But yeah, I have a have a review on the Dan too. If you want to check that one out, I had really uh, really a good time doing that 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 review as well. It's a good truck. I think the only truck I truly do not like is the Trans Star. <laughs> And I think everybody knows what the International Trans Star is. Yeah, it's it's got some crazy power. I mean, it has the the biggest engine in the game. Like the engine that's in that truck right there it has the same engine. Has the same engine as the Zix. Yeah, it, it's a, a big engine. Um, concerning its weight, uh, the only thing about weight in this game, so when you watch my reviews, um, I've done a lot of like analysis on weight and grip, but like those two are like directly correlated in this game. So a vehicle that has a ton of weight. Is gonna have a ton of grip too. Uh, what am I doing here? That's the Dan doesn't have a ton of weight. That's that's the problem, honestly. I mean, it's not light. Don't get me wrong. It's not a light truck, but it's not a super heavy truck either. Okay, we're gonna take you over there because I need fuel trucks up there. I can pull this through. Actually, we're going back this way. <coughs> I don't want to go through that again. Sorry, I'm like coughing everywhere. Oh gosh, I don't want to get caught here. No. Am I gonna get caught? I think I'm gonna get caught. Oh my gosh, it skirted around it. Okay, never mind. Thought I was gonna get caught on those uh those stumps back there. The funnest truck you've ever driven is the International HX 520. Good dude, that's a good truck. I haven't reviewed it yet. I've I've heard things about it. I've heard like it's re actually I haven't I've played it. I haven't reviewed it yet, but yeah, that's a good one too. I'm pretty sure that's the truck. The International HX is the truck series that replaced the the Paystar. I like that truck too. Yeah, it does. It does have really good power to weight. That's true. I think it has the same engine as the BM17. Uh, if I'm, I think so. Really good. Really good truck. Yeah. For not having it race suspension, it's a really, it's a really good truck. I think a truck I was really surprised 
that I didn't like before is actually the uh, the Cat CT680. Um, I never liked it until I reviewed it, and then I kind of like understood. It's it's like really stable. It's kind of cra it's so crazy. Like I never thought. Okay, I need to back up a little bit here actually. Okay, hopefully I can make this turn without this trailer getting hung up here. It probably will. Oh nice. This way. <clears throat> I need to get some like cough drops or something. Just to make my throat feel better. I gotta figure out my route because I'm not going through this. <coughs> I'm not going through that again, I don't think. Maybe I will. I wanna I don't wanna go. Uh actually maybe I will. I'll just go down the coast and take it straight up. I need to refuel Zix. Maybe I will go this way. Yeah, I'll just go this way, because I need to refuel the Zix. <laughs> really? The Transar's usable on the, uh, the highway hauling? I heard the highway hauling maps have, like, a lot of mud. It's kind of weird. Like, when I heard of them, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Like, because I know there's that... Um, that trucking simulator, I forget, I forget, I'm not sure what it is. It's like a, a trucking simulator, but I've seen people play that, so I thought it was going to be like that, but I don't know, some people told me that it actually has a lot of mud. That's kind of cool that you can use it there. Get up here. Get this guy loaded up. Welcome back, Quentin. Okay. Refuel. Okay. Just continue. So I think this route will be okay coming back. I don't. I just don't know. Actually, maybe I might have to have somebody help pull the Dan through the rocks. I just think it's gonna get caught up, unless I'd like take really good routes. And I'm not really good at that stuff. Oh, come on, Paystar. Okay, let's see here. No, no, no. There we go. That'll work. Oh, right, left turn. <laughs> okay, I'm sitting here for now. I'm gonna go get jump in this guy. Mm 
We represent the Lollipop Guild. Oh shoot, come on. Here we go. Here we go. Go. Oh, he almost could do it by himself. It's kind of legit. I like to see. Yo, Jared, what is up? Wait, is that my brother, Jared? Is that something else? <sighs> no way. It's not my brother. I, my brother never comes to my streams. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's up, man? Why are you... Dude, you're on vacation. What are you doing? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> what are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be, like, grilling some ribs or something? Jared, how bad do I sound, man? Because my sinuses suck right now. Yeah, everybody, that's my that's my brother Jared. <laughs> Jared, so what are you doing? Just just smashed. You sound like a truck driver. <laughs> oh, no way. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> truck driver. Oh, that's funny, dude. So wait, what'd you, Jared, what'd you eat? Where'd you guys go? So anybody that's in the chat, uh, Jared P is, he's actually the guy who does, has like, he does my music for the videos. He's the one, he's the one that does the, uh, the intro song, or I used his, I kind of stole it and asked him later. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, stop there. I get you stuck. What? You did baby back ribs on the smoker? Dang. What uh, what type of rub did he use? Oh man, I'm so jealous. Oh, I'm so jealous right now. Okay, I'm gonna go through this way. I think. This little patch. Winch. Just do my mouse here. Baby back ribs on the smoker. Goodness. I wish. Seriously? Bearded. Oh. Alright, Jimmy. Thanks for stopping by, man. I know it's super late where you're at. I appreciate you for stopping by. Have a great night. Bearded but so wait, so he did Bearded Butcher's original, and then what barbecue sauce? And like, what what method did he do? You got come on, tell me about it. You gotta tell me about it, man. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bearded Butcher's uh, original too. I just haven't used it. I only use the, the Hollywood and the black seasoning on the ribs. That's I think. Wait, no, we did use the original. I think. 
thought we used... I thought we used Hollywood. Don't get stuck. Nice. I thought we used Hollywood. Um, the black. I don't forget what else. Oh, I think Jared bounced on me. <laughs> yeah, just tell me, come in, say you uh, ate ribs, and then leave. Thanks. Thanks, man. Okay. Get this down here, then we'll go... Discover these plane parts. Hollywood, though. <laughs> no, dude, the black seasoning I thought was the best. Actually, the Hollywood was really good, too, to be honest. Okay, let's get this guy out of the way. Alright, where's my pay star? Okay, let's see here. I need to look at Map Runner real quick to find out where this other plane part is. Okay, up there. And then one's in the water. Okay, so I'll fly around there and do this. Vortex lurking. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. We are... We just delivered the... The airplane fuselage, I think it's like the B-26 that was in this lake here. This is the last um, contract for this region. I just want to do it. But yeah. Now we're finding the other two pieces. Uh, no, it's not over here. It's over this way. Here. I don't know where it's at. I think it's up here somewhere. Pretty sure. Ah, I see it. There it is. Okay, I don't need to, like, scan this. Maybe I do. Take a sip here. I don't need to find this thing. Because I can just go up there and grab it with the, uh, the Zix, but this one over here I'll go find. I think you actually have to find it in the water to be able to like pull it up. So we'll do that. Oh. I feel like... Oh my gosh. It like took a quarter of my suspension. Alright. I think it's on this side, like right there. I'll slow down a little bit. I think it's like right here by these containers too. Uh, I'm gonna think. Oh, there it is. Boom. I don't know how I saw that. That's weird. Yep, good to go. Okay. Wait, Quentin, how many how many slots do those take up? The uh the other parts. 
Is it two? They take up two slots or is it three? I wonder if I can load both of those. I need to get the Zix back up here. I just hope I don't get stuck on this, this rock with these outriggers coming up here. I probably will get stuck. This is like pretty thin. Nope. Oh my goodness. I didn't get stuck. Oh my gosh, what a monster. practically pulled its way through. Yeah, it did. Okay. That works too. <clears throat> so I think like after the stream I'm going to work on my my new little mini series, I think. Probably take a break though. Two hours and 30 minutes. I at least want to get this cargo onto the Dan and start coming back. And then I can finish everything later. So I'll get it onto the Dan and start heading back and then I'll probably end the stream. I just wanted to like get that stuff in there. I think I'm going to grab the, the bigger piece first, actually, and then just put that on the trailer, because I'm not sure, like, I'm not sure if I can get both pieces on there. I don't think you can. Okay, Lucian, you don't think we can do both? Yeah, I didn't think so either. I'm kind of... It's whatever. What I'll do is I'll put the bigger part on the trailer. And then I'll... I think I'll just do the, uh... The what's it called? The glitch. I'll just do the, the what's it called? The crane glitch thing. For the little piece. And I'll just drive the Zix down. But... fall in. Gosh. This is like such a tight area for this truck. Uh, I think it's like right. Uh, yeah, I had to go up this way, and I think I'd make a left up there. If I remember correctly. Wait, let's get it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Watch, I'm not gonna be able to pick this thing up because I didn't, I didn't discover it with the uh, metal detector. I'm hoping that's not the case. 
I guarantee some people have like brought the uh, that big trailer up here and and like put it on the trailer like right here, which I definitely would never do. Let's go. I'll do. Actually, wait. Outriggers in. Let's go. Oh, really? Dang. They probably remedied that. I guarantee they fixed that. Oh, shoot. Don't tip. Oh, good thing I have outriggers. That's kind of cool how they came out. So now I just gotta not fall into the, the water, this one little like small part over here, and I'm pretty much good. Wait, the other pieces would disappear? What? So wait, if the other pieces disappear, that means you'd have to restart the mission. I would be so upset. What? No, hold on a second. Don't you do it. Yep. That would I think that would have kicked me into the water right there. This would definitely take up this whole cargo bed. I don't know why I ever thought I could get multiple pieces on here. There's just no way. Let's see if I can pack it like this. Nope. Should have known. Should have known. Let's go and lift it up. All right, that should work. Yep, good stuff. get out of here okay let's try to thread these rocks here not get hung up I'm trying to do this without having to be escorted Excuse me, sorry guys. <clears throat> Come on, baby. Let's go. Show the Thatcher what you're made of here. Don't get high centered there.
Nice. Just a little wiggle. That's all. A little wiggle room. Man, look at this thing. Okay, so... The, the Tatra got hung up all back there. And this just plowed through there. And I think that's just because the diff lock. Honestly, I, I just think it's because the, all, the always on diff lock. I feel like the tat when the, like it's weird like some wheels on the tatcher just don't spin they just they just decide not to spin like when it's under load it's just weird uh I'm gonna go around this tree actually <clears throat> I don't want to thread through there and have it get caught up Yeah, this is definitely a better way to go. Way better way to go. So we'll get as far as we can um, with the Dan until I have to, like, come help him. Which might be when we get to those rocks. And at that point, I'll just, I'll probably end the stream because I'm coming up on three hours right now. I definitely need to probably get some rest. At least chill out here. Like, this thing is so powerful, you can just throw in high gear at any, any time. It doesn't even matter. Go that way. Oh uh, no, I'm not gonna go that way. Too, too risky. Too risky to punch through those trees. Oh no, I knew it. Uh, is that gonna work? That will work. That's gonna work. Okay, let's go for it now. <clears throat> yep. Okay. See, this makes it so much easier having the, like, the always on diff lock and all wheel drive because I don't have to switch from, like, low plus to reverse which it just takes time like I can just leave it in auto and just like left trigger right trigger to like forward reverse and just makes doing this so much easier okay let's see here I need to go to you So what I'm hoping is, I hope that tree, oh shoot, I hope that tree that I bulldozed earlier, like, just actually stays down. Because if so, I should have, like, a clear path just to, like, almost run down that hill.
I mean, the Dan is doing really good right now. Good suggestion, Quentin. Good suggestion. I haven't really got, like, hung up on my nose either. It's kind of weird. It's just because all that weight's pushing down on the back. I mean, you can see it too. That's kind of what you want. Okay, let's go. Dan Strong, that's right. Sweet, I have, a, I have like a clear path. Wait, that tree's still there? No, it's not. It can't be. No, it's not there. I don't think it is. Look at this. Yo. Yeah, dude, the engine sound is sick. Yo, no hiccups right there. Nothing. It just went right down. And then it went... Well, I, I, that was my error right there, so... That's what I'm talking about, man. I probably should have just used this on the first one. But hey, whatever. Killing it, man. I'm like, I'm so impressed. Like, I was winching through here. Like, if you rewind this tape and go back to the Tatra, like, I was winching this trailer. I'm probably gonna put it on daylight when I get down to this shore just because I wanna, I really wanna, like, get through this. Yeah, look at that. Perfecto. Okay. Putting on daylight. There we go. Get it. Okay, I do have some winch spots like here. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually going to back up here because I'm going to go through that, that route I have earlier. <clears throat> Just so I don't get caught on these rocks at all. I'm going to find a way through here. If I could do this with the, the Azov 64131, I can do it with a Dan. I'm absolutely certain. Well, maybe I can't be certain, but... Come on, baby. second here. I'm going to take the ice. Yep, take the ice. Now we're safe. Okay, let's find this little route through. Let's go. Freaking Dan. Yup. Freaking Dan, man.
Man, that weight on the back of the trailer, like, is crushing it right now. Or that weight right here on the axles. It's so good. Like, usually it would have trouble, like, hitting its nose right there, but because of that weight, it's just, like... It's a monster, dude. Like, it seriously is. Okay, now I just need to MacGyver this stuff. But you, you just have to. I'm gonna back up a little bit. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna cut my tire winch and go. Oh my goodness, man. I, I don't think I'll ever question the Dan again. <laughs> Legitimately, like, heavy semi-trailers, I don't... Amazing. Freaking amazing. I'm gonna go right down these telephone poles. So that's where the. Yeah, I'm gonna go right toward these telephone poles, to be honest. Because that's all super snow. There's no reason to go that way. I think of a way through. Okay, I, I, see, I think I see it. Will is watching? No way. <laughs> He's probably like, what is this dude doing? Well, we're about to finish it up, Jared. Right after I delete, or not delete this, turn this in. Sweet. Let's go. Hold on, Jared. I'll put the camera on so I can say hi to Will. Nice. Good stuff. Quentin, good uh, good call on using the Dan, by the way, bud. That's, that's clutch right there. That is clutch. <clears throat> Alright, well, I'm done for the day. That's it for me. It's a it's a good boy. What's up, man? I remember you. Sorry you're coming in right now, man, but I'm I'm just ending the stream. I'm I'm not feeling too well and I just did three hours on here, so if you want to go back and watch it, there were some really cool things that happened though. It is just a beast of a vehicle, it really is, man. I'm gonna be using the vehicle a lot actually. As soon as like especially with like this trailer or any type of heavy trailers for sure. But yeah. Jared, tell Will I said hi, so Anyways, guys, thank you for coming out and watching me. I appreciate it. Um, it's a good boy. A lot of things happened. Um, I had some cargo fly off my trailer, like, into the sky and do flips. So, it was crazy. Yeah, I'm okay. I just have a sinus infection, so. Love you, too. Love you, too, bro. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, Jared. Tell Will I said I love him, too. Have a good time on vacation. Anyways, I'm out here, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go rest and get some, uh, get some food and stuff like that so anyways appreciate you watching check out the review that just came out uh on friday next week is going to be the ck 1500 so check that out too and i'm trying to get a new series with the uh called route runner and it should like i'm gonna kind of break down the maps and the uh the difficulty of each little like route and stuff like that so anyways i'll talk to you guys later thank you so much have a wonderful saturday see you later peace god bless